Or ma'am, are you there? Hello? 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 Yeah, go ahead. Hi, Alex. I'm Isabella. I'm 11 years old, and I'm from California. Okay, well, welcome. It's good to have an 11-year-old calling in. Uh, yeah, I, I actually understand what you're saying. My dad and I listen to you all the time. Are you there with your parents? Yeah. Okay, good. I'll make sure you have permission to call in. Well, what do you think about what's happening in the IRS and the Federal Reserve to run your health care now? Well, um, I'm a little shocked that the judicial branch actually approves of it. And um, in school, they're actually pushing us to like Obama. They're pushing us to do certain things like um, we have to listen to a speech and I, sw I wanted to go to the bathroom, but they wouldn't let me. They said, they said to me exactly, sit yeah, down. They make you listen to the uh, great communist leader. But expanding on that, I mean, what's wrong with Kim Jong-il? But I, I shouldn't be sarcastic. You're 11, so you may um, n n n not get the humor. You're out in California where they try to give you shots without your parents' consent, without your parents saying it's okay. Uh, are, are they trying to make you take vaccines at the uh, government facility? Yeah, yeah, they are. They, um, I went to the doctor's office a couple months ago, and they tried, they said, oh, you have to have an appointment to get this vaccine, this and this and this. And no, we never went to my appointment because my dad said it's horrible. It can make you go mentally insane. Let's just say that. And, well, it can um, certainly screw your brain up, yes. Uh, what do you think of government-run health care? What you call in about today, Isabella? Um, well... Well, certain, like how they're just pushing Obama and they're pushing this and that and health care and um, same gender marriage. Like my little sister's um, gym teacher said she's getting married to a girl, another girl. And she well, I mean, that's what it's all about is targeting children. And, and that's where these type of people go and work. And they want to go over to your little sister. How, how old is your little sister? She's seven. And she wants to indoctrinate her. You know, it's one thing yeah. if she wants to go off and do something sexual herself as an adult, but I, I can't even, you're 11, I shouldn't even, the, the point is, they shouldn't be talking to you about this or your sister. And again, I understand they've wrecked the economy where most parents have to put their children in a government re-education camp, uh, but uh, have your parents gone and said anything to them about them trying to screw your sister up? No, um, they just like, they're like, just don't listen to it. It's dumb how they're just trying to do well, that. I mean, the point is they and, shouldn't be there talking about that to children. And, and the fact that we now have to talk about it because they've, they've brought it up trying to destroy your innocence. And look at how they're destroying our society. Everybody who pushes this system, it's destroying us. It's not good. Listen, you're going to win by never using drugs never taking their prescription drugs, being healthy, and helping people in your community. Don't let them destroy you. And it sounds like you've got good parents, though, that they have you listening to the show. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm always listening to it. And um, it's just like, it's stupid how the school is trying to brainwash it. They're trying to make a monopoly out of everything. Like, Obama's trying to monopoly his health care. Everything. Well, listen, you've got to do this. Just take material to school. They're going to try to stop you from educating people, and then you make that a bigger issue. Don't conform to their re-education camp. Uh, if you've got to be in a re-education camp, do what you're doing. Resist it. Point it out. Like the teachers say, you'll be arrested if you talk bad about Obama. Uh, Al Gore goes to the schools and says, tell your parents what to do. They want to destroy your family. These are brainwashed minions of the system. Uh, and, you know, the fact that you've got to be in their camp can be turned towards good if you use it to wake people up. God bless you. Winning and staying out of trouble will defeat the scum. Thank you for calling.